Spillman. I'm the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT, and I am with Todd Habercourt. Thank you for having me. This I is, am this so is a excited. First. This is, is the first for us, and just chatting, uh, you know, at length here. This is nice. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to have you on Anime and Adventures. Anime Adventures. I can't even spit it out. <laughs> and of course, this is the show where I bring you interviews with anime voice actors, and we have so much good stuff to talk about. We're at KameaCon, the all Dragon Ball convention. So let's start with your Dragon Ball characters, and I want to oh, hold yeah, yeah. them up. Yes. This is uh, actually, and this is was made specially for this convention. Oh, was it so, really? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. This guy right here. It's got a, a few of my my dudes on here. Jocko, Android 19, Tarble, who's yeah. a like deep, deep cut. That one's that's Vegeta's brother, and he was in like the holiday special, and we worked on it. Everyone's like, oh, Vegeta's brother is totally gonna be in more episodes. Like, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not but Jocko's fun. Jocko's in a lot. So. I wanna hear some of your characters. Well, Jocko, uh, you know, he's he's I, so before him I played Sergeant Frog. And so I feel like with Sergeant Frog, Sergeant Frog wants to take over Pico Pond, and so Jocko is a little bit, uh, he's seen some more stuff, so he's a little bit more cop-hardened. Where Sergeant Frog is still naive and looking around the world and loves vacuuming and cleaning and doing chores, <laughs> but Jocko's seen some more stuff, so it's a little bit different. They're both aliens. So it's, uh, you know, they I, to do both of those characters, both aliens, both weird characters, I'm in, so I, I'm glad I That's got to do it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But that is unique. You know, people talk about and ask me a lot about creating character voices, and sometimes you can have a similar character voice or sound, but it is having these little nuances like you just demonstrated. Well, yeah, and I think also uh, sometimes people can get put in a, a pigeonhole of voicing because... Uh, it's not that people can't do some some actors can't do other voices or other styles. It's just that what they they become they become known for a certain thing and then they they get called in for X type of role that's similar to one archetype. Yeah. Especially with anime, uh, because there because there really are a finite amount of archetypes. I feel like in the structure of anime storytelling. And uh, you know, eventually, like yourself, you you get to make the rounds with all the different archetypes, and some stick more than others. So, so you know, it's it's a uh, it's, yeah. it's everything in between. You know, you're so right. Let's move on and talk about some of these other great oh, characters. Oh yes, Natsu Dragneel. Now that's a guy who I stayed with for like 328 episodes wow. in two movies, and then there's there's a video game and all this fun stuff, but he's the one that uh, he definitely uh, changed my opinion about footwear when you're fighting because he only wears sandals. <laughs> and I always thought that if you're gonna go into a fight, you shouldn't wear open-toed shoes, but yeah. it worked for him for 10 years, so I mean, you know. So now you're willing to go into a fight with open-toed shoes? I could, I'd consider it. You'd I'd consider, consider it? it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think we should have a fight and wear open-toed shoes. I think I could take you. I would not be surprised if you did, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. I like to talk big on camera, but then I don't. I have no follow through. <laughs> we'll settle it over coffee first. Yeah, we'll, we'll settle. Say, yeah, we'll just we discuss. Go. We'll have yeah. a discussion. <laughs> now these. Now this is what's wild about this is Fire Emblem. When we worked on this video game, uh -huh. like I don't like his. Those voices are so like low and like it's such a quiet voice. In a, in a space I like know this. you'd have to and, like really so get on like... with this with this game when we work on video games as you know I mean we we don't really see the world it's just the script just an excel sheet and so when people bring up fire emblem to me it's like oh yeah no I did work on that I told it because we didn't see any of the world any of the you know and it was with Nintendo Nintendo was in the room but you know the it's not like they're wearing a big Nintendo banner. It's <laughs> yeah. just like, there's a dude, there's a woman, there's a, you know, and that's it. They're the clients. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. I see a Mr. Kent Williams walking behind Are you going to come by? I invited Kent to crash. I think he should crash the interview. Kent, you You're sit. invited Kat, to crash. Yeah. I don't know if I should sit. I'm just, you know, like... Sure. Wait, you're not in around. camera. Yeah, you He's sit. crashed right an here. interview before and then we couldn't see him. There he is. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It's Mr. Kent Williams. It is Mr. Kent. Voice actor extraordinaire. 
like 55 characters on Dragon Ball 2. 50, or no, also. It's 57. Oh, 57 actors. So. Hello. Say something brilliant. Say something brilliant. About no, acting. no pressure. No oh pressure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, you know, that's what were you even having a conversation we about? We were talking about video <laughs> games, how sometimes you come in and you see like the clients and you don't necessarily they may be Nintendo. Well, it's just because like when you when you take a script and then it becomes this. Like we never see this. True. You know yeah. what I mean? So it, it, it's true. Kind of it works more the imagination muscles than uh, than it might uh, in when something when we're dubbing an anime where you're seeing the visuals already. That is true. That is true. Well, you have that. You have yeah. You have the opportunity of seeing all that run. I mean that's the, like yeah. But where's the where's the movie that I watched? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why can't I see it? Why can't I see me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so from here, so we're chatting about that, and then they're they're, they're waving me down off camera. They're like, uh, in five minutes, you have a panel. Oh, do you uh, have a panel? I do. Oh, okay, you've got a panel. Okay, so I know we are on schedules here. Panels, we're on schedules. Yeah. Oh, he's Feeding got a times. panel. Okay, we're gonna. Well, how about we wrap it up? Okay. Yes, because this has been fun. And here's what I like to do at the end: is say goodbye in a character voice, and oh. I will imitate you. So you pick a character. Okay. You pick a character. Okay. Say goodbye, and then I'll imitate you both, very badly, okay. for the record. But announce who you're doing. Oh, me first. Okay, Doctor Giro. Goodbye. Goodbye. You got some good growl on that. Oh, thanks. Well, because it's a Kamehameha ha 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 convention, I have to be the galactic patroller Jocko and say, uh, uh, don't do 35 and a 55, I guess, uh, because I'm a cop and bye, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. It is a Kamehameha type of convention. And so I agree with everything that he said. We're just happy that you're here and we hope you join us for another interview. Bye. Yeah.